Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is election day, November 6, 2018. And on this day, I have decided that I'm going to exercise my vote uh, by honoring all those great Americans from years past who didn't get their opportunity to vote. Um, so I did the whole shebang this morning. I, I woke up in my right mind. <laughs> and got my shirt and tie on, got the blazer on, got the, got the walking dress shoes. I ain't got no suspenders though, but we are, we are walking to the polls for all those people who couldn't, who couldn't vote. We're gonna, we're gonna get there. And we're going to make it happen for them today. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Come on, y'all sing with me. Uh, we're uh, still walking. I say we, I really just mean me. Um, <laughs> walking to go vote. And uh, I, I like the democratic process because uh, the people get an opportunity to uh, voice their, uh, you know, their choice. I think, I think we probably should take a little a step further instead of just, uh, you know, voting this party or that party. We should probably be voting on the issues that matter most to us. Uh, and instead of seeking leadership, I don't always think we need leadership. Uh, sometimes we just need a spokesperson and some wise counsel, you know, to kind of make a decision. But I feel like we're always seeking leadership, and this person thinks that I need a ride. Man, I went back in time for real. <laughs> they really think I need a ride. They backing up. Oh man. I think they think I need to ride for real. They got the reverse lights on. Oh man. This is uh, small town America. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Love you. Small town America. Straight out of Ridgeway. Another person asked me if I need to ride. Let's see. Hey, I'm just I'm walking. I'm I'm getting my stroll on. Yeah, I'm going to go vote. I took it back in time. Remember we had to march. We had to walk to go vote. So I'm, I'm walking today. No, 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 no. You already voted already? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I try to help my people. Right. But you know, like when you're you know, you you're stuff, yeah. That, that older people need help. And yeah. Young people do that. Because all they have to do is tell people that they want some help. That's it. And, and that you can That's all we need. We might need a little help here and there. That's yeah, it. So, so Young, young people like y'all, yeah. encourage some young knuckleheads to get out there and vote. Okay, I'm going to make sure that after I vote, I'm going to put the message out there. That's right. You know, I'm telling my cousin Pap said, get out there and vote. Because, because it's, 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 they don't know that they're going to be hurt. Yeah. You know, because it, 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 it's, it's essential. Yeah. The way the country going out, wrong way, and Donald Trump, he, he encouraging that stuff. Yeah. And then he tried to step back and hide his hands, but he's... I got you. I got. I got you. You got all that. I got all of that. <laughs> all right, cuz. Yeah, see, down here in the south, when somebody walking, and you got a car, you know it's it's good to just stop and say, "Hey, do you need a ride, brother? I see you dress nice. You look like you're going places. Do you want to get there faster? That's it. That's a word right there, man. See somebody. See somebody needs to know that. Man, you are going places in life, but the vehicle that you using right now ain't gonna get you there. Ain't gonna get you there in the time that you that you want to get there, that you feel like you you should or you need to get there. And I know you know timing is you know this and that, 
But sometimes it ain't a time issue. Sometimes it's the vehicle. If I'm trying to get to Atlanta, I probably shouldn't ride my bike. I probably should either get my car, go down to the airport, you know, see if I can get to Atlanta a little faster, you know, to enjoy what's going on in Atlanta, you know. So, so yeah, that's that's man, that, maybe that's maybe that's a word for me. I need to switch my vehicles up. I need yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to, I need to I need to get in a vehicle that's gonna get me where I'm trying to get to a little faster, a little safer, more efficiently. Okay. And I still learn everything that I need to learn, you know, on the journey. I'm just getting there a little faster. But back to my point about picking leadership, I'm not sure that we should be voting for leadership. I really do think we should be voting in our interests and we should be voting for uh, people that are gonna speak on our behalf after they've consulted with, you know, with us, like the people. Because it's supposed to be power to the people, right? It's for the people. By the people. And is that a <coughs> nigga? Oh, that's a dog. Oh, yo, we got a dog. Jesus. Oh, I just want. Whew. I wanted to honor. I wanted to honor my people. I didn't wanna. I didn't wanna reenact nothing. Whew. That a crow. Boy, look, there's a crow up there. Jim Crow. Still chasing me. Whew. Oh, boy. Almost and pulled my hamstring. Will you shut up? Boy, I tell you. I'm just trying to vote. That's all I'm trying to do. That's all. I used to think that, uh, I was walking by myself. But then I realized I got, y'all don't see all them, look at that. I got my grandma behind me, my granddaddy over there, my great grandparents back there. I got all my answers. Look at that, y'all don't see them. Y'all see me, but it's about 10,000 of them back there. They back there, proud. They want me to do a little bit better in life, but they, they, they proud, they, they with me. Sometimes you just feel like, you know, you're not by yourself. I know sometimes up here. Oh man, I got another dog. Gonna be cool this time. Shut up. I ain't scared of no dogs. All right, like I was saying, I ain't, I ain't scared of no dogs. I'm gonna walk sideways though. Cause I ain't, cause I ain't scared of no dogs. Oh man, the day started out real gloomy, but now the sun's coming out. Oh, sucks now. It's gonna be a good day. Gonna be a good well, they brought a bulldozer they're trying to deter me from voting where well, i shall not be deterred i'm gonna vote you ain't gonna stop me sir you shall not stop oh you gonna oh you went oh you weren't coming after me uh oh you don't care if i vote or not oh hmm. well all right, then. All right, here we go. That don't seem wise. All right. Uh, let's go with this person.
Okay, you can zip up. Hmm? Here's another one. All right, so what do we learn today? Uh, we learned that um, people care about uh, their voting and about their politics, which is, I think that's a pretty good thing. Um, I had quite a few people you know, ask, hey, are you gonna vote? Who are you gonna vote for? Hey, watch out for this, watch out for that. Um, vote for this party, vote for that party. Um, and that's, that's the other thing that I learned. I learned that there's a lot of people out here who are, they, they stick to their party. Uh, whatever their party is, they, they stick red, blue, green, whatever. They usually stick to their party. Um, and and what that kind of tells me is, you know, just from hearing their concern, that people are afraid, you know, that their way of life is going to be altered, you know, if the other guys win, uh, the other side wins. Uh, and we are we're afraid of our politicians which is kind of weird because like we they're elected officials they're not they're not nobody's bosses they're not you know any kind of deity or you know god or anything like that so we don't we don't need to be afraid of them we, what we probably should do like i said earlier in the video is just uh elect people who um who are going to speak for us um, not, you know, not anything that they came up with on their own. It's like, no, you know, we had a meeting of the minds or there was some kind of council uh, that was approved by the people and and we all met or, you know, or, or that council met and then the decision was made. It's not you came to us saying you're going to lead us. That's that's not what the American people need. The American people need to, uh, you know, not just get out here and vote, but be active uh, in, in, in the process. Uh, we have a responsibility. Our power extends beyond the vote. And um, I think a lot of times we forget that we only, you know, kind of think about using our vote to get our voice out there. But no, we have, uh, we are the power. Like, we have the power. It's, you know, it's power of the people, you know, by the people, for the people. Um, that's the type of government system that we have here. America, you know, I'm no, I, I'm no uh, political science major or anything like that. But you know, just the little things, just you know, read the read the Constitution, just the first just first few lines in the Constitution. You know, it lets us know, you know what kind of government this is and how you know, how things are supposed to be. But, but uh, I know I just fear that we we rush off to give our power uh, to you know to this group of people or to that group of people. Um, and it probably shouldn't be like that. We shouldn't have a, a two-party system anyway. You know, it's, it's like 400 million Americans. Like, we don't have two ways of thought. You know, everybody, I like a little bit of that, a little bit of that. I agree with this, I disagree with that. Um, and even though they don't wear the same colors as me, I agree with what they're saying. And, I, you know, I should be able to vote. You know, based on whether they, you know, this is where they stand with this issue, or, or this is where they stand with that. Um, you know, it's not a monolith. Monolith. I think I'm using that word right. You know, we're not. We don't all think alike. But, uh, but yeah, a couple thoughts from today. Uh, I enjoyed walking. You know, taking that journey. 
uh, kind of like, like I said, like some of the, the uh, Americans of past time who didn't get to enjoy, um, you know, the, uh, the ability to vote without, you know, being hindered. And, you know, you hear about these stories of people, you know, walking for miles and miles just to go vote. So, you know, it didn't, there wasn't anything for me to go, you know, walk maybe a mile and a half to go, to go cast my vote. Um, so that was fun. That was, uh, oh yeah, fun for me, not so much for them. But, it, you know, but that shows that we have that, uh, that spirit within us, that determination. So use that to tap into other areas of our lives, um, you know, to, to find a source of strength, if you will. Um, yeah, coming from the human spirit. Uh, what else? I learned that there are still some nice people around these parts. You know, I got offered several rides to the polls. Yeah, but I thought I was walking because I was because my car wasn't working. But that's cool. Um, my car works. Uh, they didn't know what I was doing. So, but it's good to know that they were still willing to help regardless of why I was walking. They were willing uh, um, and eager to help. And so I appreciated that, definitely. Uh, dogs are evil. I learned that. So try to stay away from dogs. <laughs> try to stay away from dogs. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this was a, this was a fun experience. I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to to seeing what else happens. And seeing what happens, uh, I guess, like the rest of the country, you know, like what's going to happen here in South Carolina, what's going to happen in Georgia, in Florida, um, you know, what's going to happen in the Senate and the House. We're all, you know, we all got our eyes on CNN and you know Fox and NBC and uh, Facebook and YouTube. So we'll see what happens. All right, peace.